What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you my new zipper hoodie 3D mockup that is available on my store for $3. If you're wanting to add your own branding to this, uh, make sure to follow along and check it out. I'll also be dropping a video on how to create this in Clo 3D, so make sure to drop a sub and join the Discord to be notified when those videos come out. So the first thing you want to do is download this product off my site. And it comes with your Marvelous file, Blender file, Texture file, Photoshop file, and then obviously your Alembic animation file. Once you have downloaded that, you want to download Blender. Then you're going to need Photoshop or Photopia. I'll be dropping the links in the description. Photopia is similar to Photoshop. It's just a free version and it's available online. So once you have downloaded everything, you're gonna be presented with a file that looks like this. It'll be your, your design, preview, project file, and textures. Preview just shows you what it's gonna look like. And then you just have your stills if you wanna render out some stills. So the main thing that we're gonna be working in is our project file, which is this hoodie zipper blender file. And then we're also gonna be using the design file. So let's open up the Blender file. We can just double click that and open it up. Once that's open up, you'll be presented with a file that looks like this in Blender. And the first thing we're gonna do is change the colors. Maybe you want a different design, maybe you want a different color. Uh, so let's do that first. So we're gonna go into Photoshop. Uh, so let's go to our design and then double click and open up Photoshop. And your file will look like this once it's opened up. So just to give you a run through, color one is all these green colors. Color two is the white colors and then your stitching is your stitching color. So these are the only things we need to change. It will automatically update in Blender once it's done. So there's very little work for you to do. Uh, so just to run through it, I'm gonna delete all these daft text files. Let's maybe make a new one so we can just go to text. Let's write here GM, press control T and then just make it a little bit bigger. You can also just drag and drop your logos in here if you want to. So I'm just gonna place that there and then copy and paste and press control T to place it at the front of the hoodie. And then let's change the colors to yellow. So if you just double click on color one and then drag it and adjust it, that'll change it to that. And then maybe you want these lines to be black instead of white, double click on that. And for stitching, you can adjust it to whatever, but best is normally black or white or gray something like that. Make sure you don't fiddle with anything else in this file because it will mess up everything from there. So as you can see, when we go back into Blender, it says DAF and it's green obviously. And then you have your, your white lines or fabric over here around the sleeves and the arms. Um, so to update that, we're just gonna press save. Once it's done saving, we can go into Blender, go to this uh, viewport shader preview and click on it on, in the middle and then we're going to go back to material shader and everything will be updated from there and just like that it's updated so once we have updated the photoshop file all of these layers on the right here will also be updated so maybe we want the 360 walking animation so let's hide the static layer always make sure that you have both the eye and the camera showing so we're going to hide both of those and close it and then let's open up the hoodie down, make sure both the eye and the camera is showing. And then when we go along the timeline here, you'll see that it starts to rotate and everything has been updated. You can also do this for the walking. So we're gonna hide that one and reveal this layer. And now we'll have the walking animation. So all your textures are already set up. So if we zoom in here, we'll see that there are textures applied to the hoodie already. So you don't have to do anything like that. Obviously, if you want to own, add your own textures, make sure to check my VMOD tutorial. They have the best textures. If you want to change the background, you can just click on this layer over here um, and then go to materials and you'll see that there's a background material. We can bring this up over here and we can just change this to whatever color. So maybe we want it to be black. Now it isn't completely black. These lights are still affecting. So we can click on the wall and press G followed by Y and just bring it back like that and press S to scale. And then just like that, we have a darker background. So once we are happy with all of that, uh, we can do our render now. So to do your render, we can go to our, your render on the right here. Uh, make sure depending on your PC that you set it to around 128 to 1000. Uh, 1000 is if you have like a really top end PC, 128 is if you have a low end PC. Now bear in mind, if you have a low end PC, setting it to 128 samples, you're getting about a minute per frame render time. So this is 400 frames. If you see on the timeline here, it ends around 409. 
it'll be 409 minutes which is quite a long render so i normally just do these overnight just to save time so i do all my work during the day and then at night i'll render it out completely so from there once you set your max samples so i'm going to do 300 we can go to output for those that are rendering for like youtube you can keep it as is if you want to change it to maybe instagram you can go 1080 by 1920 and it will update that you'll notice that the the backdrop isn't fitting in the entire frame so let's press g followed by z and just bring it down and then press s to scale it again until you're happy with that and then you have your vertical ratio um, and then your start frame and your end frame is going to be 0 to 410 and then because we're creating a video we're going to just set our output location so mine's just going to go straight to my desktop call it what you want press accept and then make sure ffmpeg video is on and then by encoding you'll see this little preset thing make sure you set it to h264 and mp4 once that is done your render is ready to go you can press render and hit render animation it will now open up another tab and it'll start rendering frame by frame so as you can see on the top left my last frame was 11 seconds and my current frame is around 10 seconds so it will give you an estimate time for your entire render once it's complete your render should look something like this if you guys did enjoy this video please make sure to drop a like comment and sub and make sure to drop in the comments any suggestions for products that you want created i'm always looking to create new products to add to my store there's a bunch if you want to check it out and obviously for 2024 i'm really pushing my channel hard so i'd really appreciate the support and i'll see you guys in the next video peace